Our next question comes from Kevin. What are your finest pointers on dealing with active posters, good sir? I'm an Ogie Roller, one of my younger, slightly bigger, and very relaxed brown belts. Sometimes feels like he is very much just bear crawling all over me. Uh, I'm also not a big leg blocker, although I acknowledge that that may be a very great solution. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, I mean, yes and no, it, it is, but like, just in case, uh, for whoever's watching this other than Kevin, like, just go and like, all, uh, up on all fours. Yeah, this is kind of what we're talking about here. It's like, how do I deal with this? Um, and leg locking is one method, but that's more particular to like, if you kind of walk over me. That's more when somebody's hips are kind of like over your torso, hips are like moving into the legs here like this is quite viable. Uh, in the earlier stages, if I'm playing and somebody's starting to like act, Shoulder clamps? Yeah, 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 exactly. Like if somebody's posting and crawling over me, shoulder clamps and reverse arm bars are really the, the things to be This is one of the only things on. that you're able to effectively do on me when I start doing my bullshit like posting yeah. and it's so hard to deal with that force that you can generate. Yeah, so uh, if you haven't invested much time in your shoulder clamp and your reverse arm bar series, mm, I we would- We have a module on that. Uh, yeah, we've got, a, we've got a module on it. Uh, it's, I mean, I hate to give you just like a, yeah, just do this, but pretty much. Like leg locks at the low end, when I say low end, like of, of the lower half of the body, if somebody's really crawling way up. Um, shoulder clamp, reverse arm bar stuff when they're low down. And if you're not a proficient leg locker and you know, don't want to become one, what I would recommend is if, let's just go butt towards the camera, is when somebody's active posting on all fours kind of over you, we do want to still like work into X guard variations. It's just they're very much going to be like dick post type stuff. Because if I'm trying to, especially like if he's really good at, uh, you know, not, you're trying specifically active posting, because if he's just posting and I just have like a good X guard, I'm going to come up. But the idea is when somebody's good at active posting and is very relaxed, as I'm trying to like move it, yeah, he's moving around me and creating all kinds of problems. And this guy has created all kinds of problems for me because of his length. And the answer for me has pretty much been to take both my feet and stomp his dick. Uh, and that, that pretty much is the only like reliable, guaranteed way to knock him down if I'm trying to sweep him. So yeah, the upper body is a, a big deal. And uh, if we're just gonna kind of break this down a little more granular for a second, when we're talking about active posters, we can sweep people if the arms are relatively underneath them still, because it's not too hard to trap the arm in. Even if the arm's extended, yep. you'll be able to shift on the outside of the base. But if Rob is able to actually post out wide, even though he's got his hand on the mat, and in Jiu Jitsu we talk about hand being on the mat, let's talk, uh, let's go this way. It doesn't mean that his structure is actually that weak, and he's got actually a really good base right now. And so if Rob actually keeps himself quite strong, my ability to try and break this sucker down when it's out here at a 45 degree angle, generating force out that way and trying to collapse this is extremely difficult. However, creating leverage and actually putting force into it this way becomes much more effective. And that's where that shoulder clamp is really gonna become helpful because I can't collapse it this way, but my ability to scoop underneath and cinch that sucker up to pull it in, to take him that way or the other way when he starts to compensate, can become quite effective. So it becomes extremely strong and extremely difficult to deal with it if we look at it and just attacking that one main motion, the direction that we wanted to go for the original sweep. Yeah. But it actually can become comp quite compromised when we're looking to move to something like a shoulder clamp. Yeah, and uh, the reason we would say like use the shoulder clamp versus just use that idea of removing the arm laterally to take away those posts is just for height reasons or limb length reasons. Like even though Rory's taller than me, uh, like I can still shoulder clamp him rather than take, like if I try to take Rory's wrist and move it out, like he can do it to me, but if you get that posted out wide, I might not be able to do it to him. You can move it, but I can move it a little bit. Right. It's not enough, right. So because I'm a little bit shorter, I wouldn't I can't, do that either. Yeah, uh, but so just so you know, like that is a viable option. Like if the other person's not taller than you, you can actually move somebody's arm out enough that you can tip them over as well. So like that's, it's an option. It's just as a universal, it'll work on smaller, bigger, whatever. Guys, shoulder clamps probably like the way to go.